Okay, Brent, as I promised, today is the day. I'm going to get through all the last remaining evaluations that have trickled in, uh, come hell or high water. So I've got a 6139 here for you and a 6106 you want to add to your existing job. Uh, this is the 6106, 7107 Sport Diver. Movement's a little hazy. It doesn't look bad. It's definitely running. Um, Lowish amplitude. It's got beat error relatively clean signal it's a little ragged but it doesn't look like the watch has ever been serviced so you know all things considered that's not a bad place to start it's a it is what it is it's an it's an unserviced 6106 okay i'm going to put this down and we'll put the uh put the 6139 on there let me do that, and we'll see what kind of numbers we get. Okay, so here you're going to see the swap over, one or the other. Ooh, look at that beat error. Holy crap. Yeah, that's it's rare that I see that much beat error. Wow. This scale goes from 0, 0, which is the best, to 9, 9, which is the worst. Uh, that is terrible. Um, it, it's accurate, but uh, wow, holy cow, that's crazy. Crazy beat error. So obviously this thing's out of adjustment, but like the uh, 6106, it's a relatively clean signal. It's not bad amplitude, though clearly it needs servicing. The movement on this one is actually looks much, much brighter than the 6106. Nice, bright, shining metal, which is nice to see. It's nice to see. Okay, let's talk about the numbers. That's so crazy. Crazy beat error. Always interesting to see something unusual. Okay, let's talk first about the 6106. Um, there we go. I don't know, the move's not that hazy. The winding weight surface is a little hazy, and these tend to be because they're um, uh, they're a uh, they're an amalgam. They're an alloy, and they tend to sort of they don't react well to moisture in any way. Let's means it's running that's for sure let's look at the lower mainstream air report there that's that's pretty worn uh, that's not real surprising case is good case ceiling surfaces are good uh, uh, looks like there's one servicing mark inside the case back this is a late one by the way June 1974 I, I don't really remember the last time I saw one made so late. These I always assume, I always associate with uh, like the late 60s and early 70s. Like I usually see them like 71, 72, 73. The loom looks beautiful. Nice, nice white loom. It's a little, it's a little puffy, a little puffy and grainy from moisture, but not bad. Your sweep hand is faded, but... Case is in original polish. Still has the brush lines on there and the sharp case lines. That's good. Crystal is look at that crystal. It's got some scratches on it. There's a good one right there, but I've seen worse. I have replacement crystals for these. I usually recommend that. It does have only a couple of hits on it, but you know, it's not that much more for a crystal. Might as well get that taken care of. Hacks. There's, they need service. It needs service seals. Um, probably a new crystal, though that I'll leave that up to you. And um, lower mainspring arbor port repair at a minimum. But it's a good watch otherwise, I think. I don't see any servicing marks inside that one. Uh, let's see. This watch was made the same uh, year and month as Pogue's watch, even though it's a totally different model. But this one is from September 1971. Bright, bright and clean. Everything's there. Let's, again, let's look at the... Ooh, I can feel that shift. I can feel it clicking. Yeah, you can't, can't really see it, but that one's, that one's worn. 
Eh, what are you gonna do? It's kind of the way things go. All for Seiko to save a few pennies per watch. Uh, this one definitely had a little bit of moisture inside. Your um, cannon pinion or center wheel is a little loose. And this obviously, this is a replacement. I do have new old stock originals that we could put in here. I could also reloom this handset to match the dial, and it'd be a much nicer looking watch. Uh, Larry uh, at Uncle Seiko, by the way, has new bracelets for these with the end links and everything. I mean, they're, they're, they're a perfect recreation of the original, except they're made in solid stainless instead of folded. And that makes them look real nice. If this were mine, I, I would definitely consider relooming that handset. There's no real bonus to having gross loom like this here. I'm not sure about the lower hand, I mean, that's up to you. This would have been an orange, one of the orange ones, and it faded down. Because these tomato red ones don't fade. But the orange ones do. And that's what would have happened here. Spanish English. Yeah, it's straightforward. I don't think there's any super duper challenges. Just a matter of whether or not you want to go ahead. Okay. I think it's pretty straightforward. Service, seals... Crystal, uh, case cleaning, of course, minimum lower mainspring arbor port, but I don't see anything else that's funky. Your chronograph wheel is good, and everything clicks over. It's just a matter of you deciding if you want the hand loom dealt with and what to do about that replacement hand. Okay, you let me know, Brent. Thank you.